Assalamu alaikum Sayyidi. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. Sayyidi, I start weeping badly in your zikr but never felt any heat in any part of my body as you described. Does it mean I'm not taking the energies from the zikr? No, it means you've got to weep a little bit more. Don't worry, eh? <laughs> worry about these step-by-step -step little things. Keep doing it, expect nothing. As soon as you expect something shaitan's playing and then things happen. Expect nothing in life, be happy with everything. So we said, connect, do your zikrs, make your salawats and do it with, you know, wholehearted and sincere. Do it at the time where you're not busy and occupied with other things. Find a time for Allah so that these things can open for the servant but expect nothing, just keep doing, keep doing, keep doing and let Allah to surprise the servant. As soon as we have an expectation, nothing opens because Allah doesn't answer to us, we answer to Allah because then you're like saying, well I'm doing this, what's happening? And He's going to say, nothing is going to happen because He doesn't answer to us, we are taslim and asked to be nothing. So be nothing, do the practices, do them with love, do your salawats, do everything that is in the meditation book on how to do the connection. We keep doing, keep doing, keep doing and you're going to feel the heat but don't think about it. And the heat is there, don't think about it. Keep doing the salawats, do the breathing and increasing, praying your tahajjud, crying to Allah to open your heart, don't let me to be a munafiq, don't let me to be a hypocrite, take away my bad characteristics. And that relationship of sincerity opens. Do your charity, do your khidmat, everything. That's why we said anyone following the system coming back and saying it's not opening, it's impossible. You've left something out. Now go back to your hisab and your accounting and see what are you leaving out or what are you adding that's not appropriate. It works if you work it, inshaAllah. That's why it's different than if a philosopher he doesn't know, so I don't know, maybe it didn't work, okay. But this it works, we live by that reality, inshaAllah. Wa As Alaikum Sayyidi Wa Alaikum Salaam wa rahmatullah. Please forgive me, if the soul's place is the heart, then why the whole body feels pain? Does the soul have some relation? As Alaikum Wa Rahmatullahi Wa Barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. ...with iron of blood. The soul's house or abode or what we call qalb is like a center point of energy. So the soul is an energy in every cell of the body, it's running through like a Wi-Fi. So for us to even just understand it, when the soul is seated in the heart, it sends its light like a Wi-Fi to every cell. As a result of that Wi-Fi hitting those cells, they're all coming to life and energized by that router. So it comes into the heart and the soul is transmitting a Wi-Fi signal because going through the wires electrical system and everything is taking from that energy. Your qudra is running on your spine and then they now teaching people that the copper is in your brain. So the importance of copper. So the metals that are in the brain allowing the transmission of qudra on the spine and then the soul is the Wi-Fi power for all of it. 
the more you give to the soul, the more it sends all these energies out onto the body. And the more that you make your meditation, the more you're opening to the greater soul. Because you have a, an engine that 100 horsepower is all that's needed for this earth right now. So there's no need to bring your rocket engine onto this body, there's nothing to do with here right now on this dunya. But as soon as you make your tafakkur and connect and learn how when you connect, immediately you can bring a, a rocket engine in and then start to use it where it's needed. But it's not needed for every day. So you train with your soul and with your practices enough energy just to feel the energy, feel the love for Prophet Everyone must have increased their love because many came with not even understanding that love. So the love is the key, did your love increase for Allah did your love increase for Prophet Nobody can say, I'm doing all my salawats and my love is not increasing, that's not right, that's not nice even. Say, yes of course it's increasing, I'm a zalim that put the good towards the practice and the bad towards the self. And this energy comes and later you'll understand how to even bring more energy that's needed at the time that it's needed. Because you pull from a greater source back down but that you don't need that all the time. So then that training begins to take place that there's a time to be on and there's a time to be off. People think if they come to see the shaykh he's going to always be on and, and just frying everybody all day long, no. They have to learn to turn their state off and be very common, very regular but during their zikrs and their work then they're on. And they can cook uh, from beyond time and space, doesn't matter where the person is and when they're listening to this, it will cook them and fry them. There's no limit to the time and space of, of the teachings and the power of the soul that reaches to everyone. So that, that's something different inshaAllah. Mm, as Alaikum Shaykh Walaykum As Salaam Walaykum I understand that bringing the bad characteristics and ego down is a continuous if not perpetual struggle and I'm trying but there just seems to be so many levels to keep conquering that it becomes overwhelming at times and I'm continuously disappointed in my efforts. Can you give some advice on how to keep struggling in a positive way so as to not lose hope in the struggle? Yeah, the, we just said the love. You're, you're, you're doing this not to accomplish something but what we're trying to accomplish is this love for Prophet So that when you do your salawats, think of Madinatul Munawwara, think about being in the presence of Prophet knowing you're in that presence, building your love. As a result of love you will catch fire. There's songs on it. Ignorant people, they fall in love and they, they catch on fire. The, the all love songs are based on they fell in love and they caught fire and that's from dunya. So the heart has the capacity, has the ability but since we don't want it for dunya, you want it for akhirah. So then this is a love for Allah love for Prophet that will draw you deep into the love of Allah because who can take you deeper into the presence of Allah other than Muhammadun Rasulullah That's why we said they're waiting, they're waiting to hear all these realities. You know they're waiting to hear these… these the name of Muhammadun Rasulullah for, for victory on the earth. So far they're not saying it. That the flags they have to carry are the flags of Muhammadun Rasulullah When those flags begin to appear and their chanting is Muhammadun Rasulullah, there won't be an angel, there won't be a wali, there won't be anything that doesn't support that because Muhammadun Rasulullah is what moves and shakes the earth. Then Allah supports. But when 
they're calling Allah without calling Sayyidina Muhammad it's not going to happen yet, that's not the key. So the key they're waiting for is when they start to hear Muhammadun Rasulullah is this is an immense key, immensely powerful reality, inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaykum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa Rahmatullah uh, Please forgive me if I misunderstood, is there any benefit in trying to change laws and convince country leaders? Um, does it mean we shouldn't tell others or share news online? Two are completely different questions. You're going to change a political leader? If you have that power then <laughs> go try, <laughs> yeah. But I think the before any of these things happened we said that, who, who do you think is waiting for Sayyidina Mahdi And then they said, oh the, these people are waiting for Sayyidina Mahdi So said, well then if you think somebody is waiting for Sayyidina Mahdi would they spend 400 billion dollars on a ball? to bring a ball, to kick a ball and to bring all the, the stadiums for this ball. And if they spend 400 billion dollars in this insanity, I think the last name they want to hear on earth is Muhammad al-Mahdi mm. who plans on destroying that stadium. He has no interest in a ball, there won't be soccer games during his time. So people how they spend tell you what they believe. So where are they putting their money where their mouth is? So you can see where they put their money but their mouth saying something different, follow the money. Right? Don't they tell us that, follow the money? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so they tell you their aqeedah, you, you know their belief based on how they spend their money. So people are not going to change and Allah is not going to change a condition. Because this is his decree in Qur'an, I don't change a condition until people change what's within themselves. So the selves have to change, when the self changes Allah will change the condition on the outside. So things become more difficult and until Allah begin to open the hearts of people, inshaAllah. What was the second part? Then don't post anything on social media? Share news with people. No, share articles and realities so that their hearts will drop from dunya, share teachings and, and uh, share the solution and not the problem. People want to spread the problem, well everybody knows there's a problem, why you have to keep spreading the problem? But spread the solution. What is the solution? Post everything about uh, Muhammadun Rasulullah post our videos, post our articles, post all of these because this is a key towards uh, salvation from difficulty. That the more people who come to the love of Sayyidina Muhammad we described last night they should find safety, right? The Dajjals they want to destroy the nation but the way they destroy the nation is to pull Muhammadun Rasulullah to destroy them. Well you have to make sure then that becomes a very strong key in your life. That keep the love of Sayyidina Muhammad keep the sunnah of Sayyidina Muhammad keep the way of eating, drinking, breathing, walking, talking, praying in the way of Sayyidina Muhammad and that becomes a key of protection. And in other areas where Allah is going to be angry, same key. How to shelter ourselves from the anger of Allah is with the love of Sayyidina Muhammad Allah promised, I would not punish them while you are amongst them and they're making istighfar. So we said for people, make lots of istighfar all day long then make durood sharif all morning long, astaghfirullah al-azim wa atubu alaykh, astaghfirullah al-azim wa atubu alaykh. By midday salawat al-Nabi because the istighfar is a shower and washing and the salawat and durood is the beautific perfume and fragrance that dresses and blesses the servant, inshaAllah.
Assalamu alaikum, Sayyidi. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. Sayyidi, I'm literally speechless. Every question and thought that is coming, and immediately Sayyidi answered everything. Subhanallah, subhanallah. Thank Allah you, Sayyidi. bless you, Allah bless you. The same one who sent you sent me. But he sends the one who's going to ask a question, and he sends the answer to, to the one who was asking questions. Allah gathers us and Prophet delivers the understandings inshaAllah. What is good from them, bad is from myself and errors and mistakes from myself inshaAllah. As alaykum Sayyidi Wa alaykum as wa rahmatullah Thank you so much for the opportunity to invest in this best stock and community. Thank you for Fatima Zara helping hand gracefully, sincerely and respect. Allah. Allah bless you. The best best investment is the investment for your soul. The people whom are investing and all these things, alhamdulillah inshaAllah you be successful. But you know if one day you find out all of these crypto coins get smashed by quantum computers that can break their encryption and break their coding and break their wallets and break, <laughs> break everything, then there's nothing to be surprised from where everything just vanishes. So what we invest in, in Allah and Muhammadun Rasulullah is the investment for all of eternity. What we put of time to make this connection will take us past the grave and all through eternity. Because the relationship we build with the shaykhs, the love we have for Sayyidina Muhammad lasts for all of eternity. Those who reach the haqqaiqs of the Muhammadiyoon, there's a paradise in which are all Muhammadiyoon, in which they're in the shaykh. Why are they in the shaykh and the image of Prophet Because you be with whom you love. If their love dressed them, blessed them and they're lost in the fana of Sayyidina Muhammad then what Allah will do with all of these Muhammadun Rasulullah They'll be put into service throughout Allah's creation to represent Sayyidina Muhammad And this is the greatest khidmat, the greatest reward that Allah can grant the servant. So means this is a, a, something of a eternity that will never stop its fountain of immense blessings to reach towards this love and this ishq and what Allah will, will reward of, of eternity from it that can't be understood versus the one who spends his time on dunya, builds his thing for dunya and dies next day and his kids just fight over it and waste it and lost it the next week. Then what? You did nothing, it got nothing into paradise, nothing into the realities of Sayyidina Muhammad and it was a complete waste of, of time and effort. So the best of those are those whom their focus is on akhirah, to build the love of Prophet that will last them all of eternity and bless all of their descendants. Because there's no Muhammadiyoon that uh, doesn't have an access to make a du'a to the benefit of his descendants and her descendants. So that's the, the power and authority that is, is needed to achieve inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbal azat amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen bi hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.